Black Kemet gods, yeah. black Egyptian gods, go. summoned from heaven, blessed, dressed in only go yard, homie go hard, let's like stop. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Sean, be nice, back again with some more Heat Rock, and today, we're gonna be doing the gaming review on the Galaxy Note 9. And what makes my game review so dope is because you can actually see the frames per second of the actual games you're playing. Now, we're gonna be testing three games. We're gonna be testing PUBG, Fortnite, and NBA 2K18. The reason why I chose these games is because they're usually pretty demanding on the system's hardware, and you can really kinda get the full expectancy of what you can expect when you're gaming on these phones. Now, what game on this phone in particular? Now, I am playing it without the case so we can see if that water carbon cooling thing actually works and see if the phone's gonna heat up or not, then we can kinda go from there. With that being said, first game on deck. Now, one thing I do is always change the performance mode to game, uh, which drops it down to full HD, increase the brightness to like 5%. Uh, now I know you guys are probably saying like, man, you probably should just do it, you know, just straight 2K, how you would, whatever. I'm like, game, like if the software is, if there's a software on the phone that's optimized to play games, why not use it? So it's like a no brainer. All right, now the way I'll be testing these games will be using a software called Game Bench. To do that, make sure everything clear in the background. Go ahead and go to Game Bench. So we're gonna, so we're gonna make Fortnite last because there's a special thing I have to do to actually get Fortnite to work. We'll just do five minutes of gaming. Uh, we do PUBG, 2K18, then a Fortnite. We're just gonna see like how it's handling and everything like that. Now the five minutes won't start until we're actually like on the ground. So like with PUBG, the time will not start till we're actually on the ground. Same thing with 2K, we won't start till we're actually playing a, a game. We probably do a full quarter. And then Fortnite, and depending on how upset or frustrated I get, we'll go from there. <laughs> now, fun fact, I personally feel that PUBG is an adults game. Um, I feel like Fortnite's a kids. Just not a huge fan of Fortnite, man. It's just, just not for me. But I will play because I do know people are interested in Fortnite, how it handles. But if I had to pick and choose right now, like my life depended on it. I'm going PUBG every time with Fortnite, like without a doubt. All right, as far as graphic, we're gonna make sure that it's, let's see if we can get Ultra HD. Okay, we can't get Ultra HD yet. We can't get HDR. So we're gonna be playing on Ultra, Ultra high frame rate, HDR, and we leave it on classic. We could do cover file, but I actually prefer realistic. So, so far as you guys can see right now, just the loading screen, we're pretty much at a solid 40. Honestly, it looks good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, man, on the Note 9 display, it's looking good. So, so far, just before we start jumping, the graphics look good, it's still smooth. We still holding at a, a steady 40. Let's go ahead and jump out. That's how I be diving into your girl's inbox, straight like that. All right, now that we are on the ground, the timer will start. So right now, just a little quick update. We are still at 40 frames per second. Still looking good. I ain't gonna lie, I scared the hell out of myself shooting that gun in the house like that. I wasn't expecting the speakers to get that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the speakers to get that loud, just being real with you. Okay, we got action. All right. Not bad. All right, now we out here looking like a gangster. I'm hearing more gunshots, I don't know where it's coming from. Ah, come on, come on, ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where you at, where you at? Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you. Yeah, 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 come on. Go ahead and reload this real quick, because buddy want that action. What up, cuz? Where you at? What's up, cuz? Come on, man, you getting the whole clip, my guy. No mercy. <laughs> what you talking about out here? He get the whole clip for that. Don't bust at me. What you got? You ain't got nothing I want. Them Falcon combat boots, I want those? Nah, I don't even want it, but I grabbed that, I grabbed that rifle extendo. I mean, a mag extendo. All right, so so far, yo, PUBG is playing like a champ. We are at a smooth 40 frames, 39 frames per second. You may see like 39, 41, but even in that gunfight, unless I wasn't really paying attention, I really didn't see any drop frames like that. I'm out here getting money though, as y'all can see. This ain't, this ain't Fortnite, fam. I get money on PUBG. All right, so that is the five minute mark. Let's go ahead and stop this game. It was fun. I don't wanna get too caught up in it though. All right, so let's check it out. Performance, like I told you, at 40 frames per second. GPU usage is that at 54%. CPU usage at 11%. So 
Let's go back. RAM usage is about, it's almost taking up a gig, which is kind of surprising. So right now we are at a 93 percentile for frames per second stability at 40 frames per second, which is awesome. So let's go here. So as you guys can see, this is a loading screen more than likely, as you guys can see when we first started. Doing the actual performance or actual gameplay, as you can see, it is steady. Steady like a rock. Yeah, looking good, looking good, PUBG, looking good. Let's move on to the next game. Well, actually, hold on. Let's go to battery drain real quick. I am interested in that. So if we played at those high settings at all the time, all the time rather, we were looking at a 20% battery drain per hour. So that's, that's pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So we started off at 51. We played the game for about 10 minutes. We dropped down 3%, but you can see the battery temp went from 35 degrees all the way up roughly to about 39 degrees. So it rose four degrees just from playing it for 10 minutes. And um, it's, it's not, actually it's not, it's not that hot. Like it's, it's really not that hot. It's actually still comfortable to the touch. So I'm impressed. <laughs> like not gonna lie, I'm a little impressed on that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. All right, next game is gonna be 2K18. Now I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm really not expecting anything, anything too crazy as far as in performance with the with 2K18, man. It's just, let me tell you something. 2K18 is trash on consoles. Not from a performance standpoint, just from a, it's just trash on consoles, period. Everything about 2K is trash. So I'm not expecting much. All right, so let's go ahead and go check out the settings. Let's turn it down a little bit. So right now we have everything at high, 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 ultra high. Now I can't say it on iPhone 10, um, you can't put player to ultra high, you cannot on Android, just FYI. You can hear the sound real quick, just get the idea of it. Let's turn that back down. Ooh, ooh, bake them, bake them. Let me get, let me get that in one ref. Let me get that in one ref. Now I'm gonna keep it a honey with y'all, man. I am really, really surprised that 2K on Android is still running at a 60 frames per second. That is crazy. I. Yo, on the, on the S9 Plus, it wasn't running at full 60 frames per second like that, so that's why I was not expecting much. So, so far, it's been doing its thing. Yo, fam, let me, let me get let me get that about you, my guy. You don't need that. Oh, no, oh, there we go, we seen some raw frames. So we seen kind of like when it got like real uh, crowded within the paint area a little bit, it dropped down drastically almost, at least by 12 frames. So just FYI, man, let me go ahead and just keep everything above with y'all. No matter what, no matter how good Android gets right now, um, like third party AAA titles that's using on both Android and iOS will continually run better on iOS because it's easier to optimize games for iOS. Now, don't get me wrong, this is good. I, this is definitely playable, but I can tell you right now, it looks better and plays better on iPhone 10 still. Again, dropping 38, 39. This is gonna be a pretty bad test for the Galaxy Note 9 as far as consistency is, consistency is concerned. Man, you weren't even going nowhere. You don't know that dribbling for what? Smack me, I ain't gonna lie. He, he got the buckets on me on that one. All right, look at that, 32? We're dropping it, come on, man. Now that's, now that's just unacceptable. It's getting a little choppy, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I seen it dip as low as 29 frames per second. Money, money. You know, we, we out here, A-plus shooting, baby. Looking real choppy, y'all, just being honest. Boy! <laughs> you, you feel me? Stop playing with me, man. Twenty-four. Yo, the frames per second stability on this game is going to be trash. Boy, not never. Not not never. We're gonna finish this last play up, and it's gonna we're gonna call it a wrap for this one. All right, let's go ahead and stop it there. Let's go ahead and get a heat check. Like it's a little warm, yo, but honestly, it's it's cooler than I thought it was gonna be. It's more so a little bit hotter on the sides, but the actual back of the phone, we sitting pretty, really, really pretty. Nice, nice job, Samsung. All right, let's go ahead and see how 2K did. So we pretty much seen an average frames per second around 48 frames, uh, 48 frames per second. That's not. I would expect to see a little bit better. RAM uses the 800, 815 megabytes. GPU usage at 50 percent. CPU usage is at 13%. Now I am happy that most of the games that we're using at least use at least half of the GPU power. Right? That's a good thing, okay? So let's go ahead and go to performance. 22% for 
frames per second stability. I'm gonna tell you right, that's awful. That, that is a failing grade, that is horrible. Look at this, all across the board, ripples, drops, dips, just terrible. This is terrible for 2K. 2K is not a game you wanna play without it being st stable. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Battery drain, and we play 2K as long as we, uh, for at least an hour, we're looking at a 29% battery drain. Temperatures came from 38 degrees, uh, went all the way to, what, 40 degrees, and dropped down to about 39 when it started cooling off. Uh, we started the game at 47% and we end up ended at 44%. So like, again, 3% uh, battery drop. Now we didn't even check it, check it out on the other one, but look here. Look, uh, look at this, this is just terrible, man. Like that is, that is not good, man. It's just, it's literally up and down, up and down, up and down. That's just, that is unacceptable. You have some steady little, you know, some steady spikes, but for, for most part, it, the time we seen 60 frames per second was rare. In other words, this is just, that's crazy. So 2K, even on a Galaxy Note 9 is not good. It's gonna be real with you, it's not good. Let's go ahead and move on to Fortnite. Again, there's a different kind of stuff I gotta do. So I'll be showing you end results you probably on my iMac. So let's go ahead and switch over. Go to lobby, let's check out these settings real quick. Some of my reason here are not coming up. Once we land, I gotta do an adjustment to the settings to get it to work. Again, shout out to GameBench for making this possible because I could not do it originally on the S9 Plus. Um, but I'm hoping I can get it going on a, four, on a Galaxy Note 9. All right, so it is at Epic, and it is at 30 frames per second. Hopefully we see that in the actual gameplay. Draw distance is looking good, though. I can't, like, as far as, like, have it, like the distance, as far as everything is appearing on the map, the draw distance looks pretty good. There's a couple of pop-ins, but nothing too crazy. All right, let's go ahead and change these settings real quick. All right, so Fortnite would not let us test out the performance on the actual game bench platform. Um, even with the, the new way they said to do it, still not working, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why Fortnite don't want people checking out the frames per seconds for their game or whatever. I guess the, I did an update today and that's probably what happened. So we'll just see how it plays normally, guys. Unfortunately, again, I can't give you frames per second, but we'll still, test, still test it out. This is why we, we wouldn't even play it that long. We just still kind of to see how it handles, how it performs. Again, um, to be honest, this phone has been on like for a pretty like a nice amount of time playing games. And right now it's even, well, I can unplug it. I don't need to charge it anymore. But it's not, it's not, it's really not that hot. Like I really feel like Samsung actually do have like some type of water carbon cooling system in here, yo. But the only thing I can say is on the sides, it is getting warm. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now granted, it does not get that hot on the back of the phone, but on the sides, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel a little bit of that heat. Hmm. Gotta chop up these bricks. Ha! See what I did there? Get it, chop up the bricks. Okay, all right, well, hopefully some of y'all listen to Jeezy. I know me hopping out right here is a bad idea. I'm probably gonna die doing that, but you know. Oh, it's up top. Cause I thought it was up top. Oh, okay, out the gate. Yeah. Come get some of this heat, my guy. Oh, you thought it was gonna be a pick? Oh, he coming, yo! Oh, Jesus! Okay, all right. <laughs> um, for, as you can see, it ran smooth, no hiccups. I really don't wanna play this game no longer than that, man, especially now since Fortnite will not allow me to do the frames per second test, but overall, it looks smooth. So, hope you enjoyed the gaming video, man. I know you guys probably wish Fortnite was longer, I just, I'm not a fan of Fortnite. It's your boy Sean, be nice and I'm out, man. Thanks for watching. Hey, before I even get off, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the bell notification, hit all that good stuff. Y'all can know when I'm dropping that heat rock on the daily basis. Well, not the daily basis. Y'all can know when I'm dropping my dope videos. It's your boy Sean, be nice and I'm out, man. Deuces.